Are you looking for the best custom ROM for your Android smartphone? Well, in this video, I am going to conduct the ultimate performance test and comparison between two popular custom ROMs, Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus. While both ROMs are based on the stock Android operating system, Pixel Experience Plus includes additional features and customizations that are not present in the standard Pixel Experience ROM. So we'll be putting both ROMs to the test to see which one offers the best. To determine the ultimate performance winner between Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus, we'll be conducting a series of extreme tests on both of the rooms, pushing them to their maximum limits. So we'll be running Antutu Benchmark, Geekbench 5 and 6, 3D Mark Wildlife, CPU throttling tests, and many other performance tests. And let me tell you, things are going to get hot. During these states, my phone battery temperature reached up to 52 degrees Celsius. But we are not backing down. By the end of this video, we'll have a clear winner and a better understanding of which custom ROM is the best for your Android device. To ensure a fair comparison between Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus, we have set up both custom ROMs to run under identical conditions. They are both operating on the same Android version 13 with the same security update from February 5, 2023. We are also using the Quicksilver kernel and running both ROMs on the Redmi Note 8 device. Additionally, both ROMs have identical apps and settings which eliminates any potential variables that could impact performance. With all these measures in place, we are excited to dive into our ultimate performance test and see which custom ROM comes out on top. So let's get started. Boot test. Let's start our performance test with the boot test, where we'll see which custom ROM boots up faster. As you can see on the screen, we are displaying the current battery temperature and percentage to provide full transparency throughout the test. We'll reboot both devices simultaneously and see which one comes out on top. And the reboot is complete. The results are in and Pixel Experience takes the lead by starting up in just 39 seconds. Meanwhile, Pixel Experience Plus took 42 seconds to boot up. We are also displaying the change in temperature and battery percentage before and after the test on the screen. It's clear that Pixel Experience is the winner of this round, but there's still plenty more testings to come. Antutu Benchmark Test now on to our next test, the Antutu benchmark test. We'll be running the test on both devices at the same time and displaying their current temperature and battery percentage on the screen for transparency. After about 10 minutes, both devices have completed the Antutu benchmark test and as you can see their scores on the screen, Pixel Experience has emerged victorious in this round with a score of 206515 while Pixel Experience Plus trialed with a score of 203153. Although both ROMs took a similar amount of time to complete the test, Pixel Experience Plus completed it slightly faster at 10 minutes and 33 seconds compared to Pixel Experience 10 minutes and 35 seconds. We have also displayed the change in temperature and battery percentage before and after the test for both rooms. The competition is heating up and we still have more tests to come. Geekbench 5 Moving from Antutu, let's jump into our next test, uh, the Geekbench 5 test. I'll be running the test on both rooms simultaneously and as you can see the current battery percentage and temperature are on the screen. Thank you. 
After about six minutes, both of the custom rooms have completed the Geekwins 5 test and the scores are now visible on the screen. While both rooms have very similar scores, there is a slight difference in favor of the Pixel Experience Plus room. The single core score for Pixel Experience Plus is 298 while the multi-core score is 1259. On the other hand, Pixel Experience room has a single core score of 295 and a multi-core score of 1239. And you can also see the change in temperature and battery level before and after the test on the screen. Geekpaint 6 Moving on from Geekpaint 5, let's see how these custom rooms perform in the newer Geekpaint 6 test. As always, I'll be running the test simultaneously on both rooms and you can track their current battery percentage and temperature on the screen. After over 15 minutes of testing, both custom rooms have completed the Geekbench 6 test. Interestingly, both rooms took the exact same time to complete the test in 16 minutes and 40 seconds. As for the scores, you can see them on the screen now. Pixel Experience Plus has a slightly higher score with a single core score of 318 and a multi-core score of 1172. While Pixel Experience has a single core score of 319 and a multi-core score of 116. Don't forget to keep an eye on the change in temperature and battery percentage before and after the test displayed on the screen. Extreme CPU throttling test. For the next test, we'll be conducting an extreme CPU throttling test on both Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus. The purpose of this test is to push both devices to their limits and see how well they perform under heavy CPU load. We'll be running the test for 15 minutes straight and you can see the current battery percentage and temperature of both rooms on this screen. It's important to note that this test can cause a significant amount of heat, so it's important to be cautious when performing it. After the 15 minute test, both devices heated up to over 50 degrees Celsius, which is a significant amount of heat. However, both devices survived the test without any issues. The results of this test are as follows. Pixel Experience throttled the CPU to 93% of its maximum performance, while Pixel Experience Plus performed slightly better by throttling the CPU to 95% of its maximum performance. You can see the difference and change in temperature and battery percentage before and after the test on the screen. Pixel Experience Plus reached a maximum temperature of 52 degrees Celsius during the test, which is slightly higher than its temperature before the test. 3D Wildlife Test After the insane CPU throttling test, it's time to move on to the 3D Wildlife Test. I'll run this test on both custom rooms simultaneously without giving either of them any rest between tests. You'll be able to see the current temperature and battery percentage displayed on the screen throughout the test. 
as you can see the wildlife test is completed and the test has completed in just 1 minute and 28 seconds for both pixel experience and pixel experience plus both room took exact same time to complete this test in terms of scores both custom rooms have performed similarly with pixel experience scoring 383 and an average fps of 2.30 and pixel experience plus scoring 379 with the same average fps of 2.30 Zero. One interesting thing to note is that neither custom room showed any change in temperature or battery percentage during this test, indicating that they are both able to handle this type of workload without overheating or draining the battery too quickly. RAM Management Test after completing six different extreme tests, putting each phone and custom room to their limits, it is time to move on to the RAM management test. This test will help us determine how well each room manages its memory after all those extreme tests. To start, I'll clear all the apps that are stored in the recent app section, then open the exact same application on both Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus rooms to see which one has better RAM management capabilities. After opening all the applications, I'll check how each room manages RAM by opening each app one by one from the recent app section. First, I'll try to open the phone dialer app from the recent app section on both rooms. And as you can see, both of the rooms managed to open the app without refreshing. Next, I'll open the messaging app and we get different results. Pixel Experience takes some time to reload the messaging app, whereas Pixel Experience Plus opened the app without refreshing. I'll open all the apps one by one from the recent app section and show you the final result. After completing this test, you can see the RAM management test result on the screen. Here in the final result, you can see that Pixel Experience ROM struggled a lot to open some apps, whereas Pixel Experience Plus only struggled for the file apps. Interestingly, Pixel Experience ROM was able to open the same files app without reloading. Overall, it's clear that Pixel Experience Plus has better RAM management capabilities compared to Pixel Experience. In conclusion, both Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus ROMs have undergone a series of extreme tests to push their limits and see which one performs better. Based on the result, Pixel Experience Plus has shown slightly better performance scores and results in some tests. However, both ROMs have been ultimately proven to be reliable and stable options for you users looking to enhance their device performance. In my personal opinion, after conducting and analyzing the test results, I find Pixel Experience Plus to be a more refined and optimized version of Pixel Experience. Its slightly better performance and scores make it a great option for those looking to squeeze out every bit of power from their device. However, for most users, both ROMs are essentially the same and provide a smooth and satisfying user experience. It's important to note that these tests were conducted on Redmi Note 8 device in February 2023 and the results may vary depending on your device and environmental conditions. Overall, I hope this video has been informative and helpful in guiding you towards the best ROM for your device. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Your support means the world to me and I appreciate it more than words can express. I hope that this video has provided you with valuable insights and information about Pixel Experience and Pixel Experience Plus ROMs. If you find this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, commenting and subscribing to my channel. Your engagement helps me to create more content and continue improving the quality of my videos and if you have any feedback or suggestions for future videos please don't hesitate to let me know in the comments below so again thank you for your support and for being a part of this community i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye